parks and programs accessible for all to enjoy. Recreation and fitness opportunities that result in good health and well-being. Acting as stewards of our precious environment. And fostering partnerships and alliances that promote our parks. Chicago parks are your parks. I'm General Superintendent and CEO Mike Kelly. Welcome to Chicago at Play. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you to this brand new harbor at 31st Street. As you can see, this new development offers stunning views of the lake and skyline, and it also offers numerous recreational opportunities for the community. It started um, back in 2005 when we did an overall district-wide harbor study and it looked at the lakefront from Indiana all the way to Evanston. And we identified up to, I think, five locations, and three of which were seen as potential short-term options, and 31st Street was on the top of that list. We've been needing a new harbor for a long time. Um, people, there's been d demand for slips. We've not been able to, to fill it. So what was here before, it was basic parkland. There was a parking lot and not much else. It was kind of a sleepy part of the lakefront. And what we've done with this harbor is really created a new active room, a new space on the South Lakefront to welcome people, bring activity, provide better access to the lakefront, and more recreational opportunities. This location was really exciting to us because one, there was a lot of community support and interest for a new harbor at this location. The new 31st Street Harbor enhances a visit to the lakefront by offering stunning views and many amenities designed for the boater and for Chicago residents alike. There are fishing piers at strategic locations, and there's also a new drop-off at the beach, beach house, new parking north of the beach uh, for general community use above and beyond uh, the harbor parking. And then also, we were able to do an underpass for the lakefront trail. It takes bikers and pedestrians, everyone using this heavily used lakefront trail, and puts it underneath the roadway. On the public side, we have the coolest playground in the city of Chicago. It's got a climbing wall, it's got water features, it's got water jets coming out of the rocks, a misting station, absolutely cool. Situated on a rise leading to a green roof on top of the, the parking garage that is all completely 100% green roof. And it's situated right next to the beach, which was stabilized again as part of the shoreline project. We have a new um, acre of parkland out on the pier that didn't used to be there. We actually use the lake water temperature to help heat and cool this, this big building. We'll be able to store boats you know, as big as you know, many of these inside that building in the winter. And people can come here kind of one-stop shopping for, for their boating activities. Boaters and families are already beating the summer heat at the new harbor. The, the public's embracing this. There must be a network of, of moms with kids out there because there are just hundreds and hundreds of families that have discovered this place and decided to make it their place. These kind of projects are really important to the Park District. One, because they provide better access to the lakefront. They serve all kinds of people throughout the city. Every age group, um, people of all interests, provides better access to Lake Michigan um, and boating opportunities as well, which is a part of our mission. And then the harbors bring in, you know, $30 million annually in revenue that help to feed parks and park programs throughout the city. It's a major source of uh, income for us and you know I think the boaters are proud of giving back in that way to parks throughout the entire city. All of this and not one taxpayer dollar was spent. It's paid for with alternate revenue bonds issued by the Chicago Park District and those revenue bonds use boater money from the boater fees that are paid to pay interest on the debt service and instead of having to, to go to the taxpayers for the, the cool public improvements here, like the playground, like this beautiful rooftop and the, and the point park out there, those are all paid for um, from these boater fees. If you are interested in parking your boat in one of the new 1,000 slips at 31st Street Harbor, visit the West Trek Marina's website at chicagoharbors.info or feel free to just come by and enjoy the lakefront. We have no doubt that we will fill this harbor completely in the next few years, and it'll be an economic engine for the Chicago Park District for years to come.